text one off now i have got one more button now i need one button with different text i reset the title started now i have one more button with an icon and the different text i want to have a button just with a text आई विल टॉगल दिस ऑफ जब आप डिजाइन सिस्टम बनाते हो होता क्या है कि आप एक ही बटन के बहुत सारे वेरियंट बनाते हो द बेसिक स्टेप डेट यू वो टेक इज की आप एक बटन बनाओगे फिर दूसरे बटन के लिए आप दूसरा बटन बनाओगे राइट right? तो वही फिर से रेक्टेंगल सेलेक्ट करोगे उसका फ्रेम बनाओगे हाइट एंड वेद बनाओगे उसका टेक्स यूज करोगे और भी जो सारी चीजें उसका यूज करोगे वेन यू यूज द वेरियंट एंड द प्रॉपर्टीज तो आप अपना एफर्ट कम कर सकते हो एंड अपार्ट फ्रॉम डैट वो डिजाइन सिस्टम में जो स्पेस लेगा उसको भी आप रिड्यूस कर सकते हो तो आप बनाओगे एक ही बटन बट आप उसको बहुत सारी तरीके से यूज कर सकते हो फॉर एवरी केस तो आज मैं आपको वही बताऊंगा लेट सी हाउ इट एक्चुअली लुक्स सो सपोज दिस इज द वन डेट आई हैव क्रिएटेड अब यहाँ पे यू कैन सी द प्रॉपर्टीज टाइटल शो ई मेल सेंड एंड शो टाइटल सो अंडरस्टैंड दिस दिस इज अ बटन विथ टेक्स्ट एंड आईकन नाउ आई वॉन्ट टू क्रिएट टू मोर बटन वेयर आई हैव जस्ट वन टेक्स्ट or just an icon i have created this i have created the properties let's see how it's working you can see here in this button icon is not visible just we have one text and that is started here we have one text and one icon if i toggle this we have a button just with a text if i toggle this we have a button just with an icon and this fulfill our target that this is what we actually want to achieve that i need a button with a text and with just with an icon so i have created just this one and with this i have created these two buttons now you can see that the text here are different here we have get started and here we have started uh, so what i have done is i wanted to have a button with a different text but the width and everything color and the text type the height the width the font weight everything i want to be the same as it is here and i just wanted to have the this title with some different one so i have created one property called the title now let's see how we can do it I'll show you from the start. I have created this button, just the button. Now to apply the properties and to create the variants, we need to have a component because those functionalities are only available for the components, not for the frames. So what I'll do is I'll convert this into a component. So we have one shortcut key, command option key, or you can also click here and then you can create this this as a component. What I did, I created as a component. Now this is a component. How you can verify? It? now you don't have the option of the component here and also you can see that this symbol is change this symbol is basically if you see this four square is for the components so now this is a component now if i click here now i can see the symbol or the menu for creating the properties now i want to create the property for this text or the title that i want to have different text so there are four kind of properties that you can use on a component if i click here you can see on clicking at the properties we have four variant boolean instant step and text i want to apply the text one so we'll see all these four in different different videos let's see the basics ones so i want to apply first the text one i click on this component i click on this properties click on the text i'll name this property as basic title and i will give a value the default value so the default values get started i click on this create property now this property is created now i want to have a different text so what i'll do is i'll click on this text and then i'll go to this content type here on this arrow one i'll click and apply the text property so now here what i will do i'll select this basic title now we have created a property let's see how it works i'll create an instant of this button you can see this property basic title i'll click here and make it started so now i have two buttons i don't need to create this button again now if i click here you can see this that the basic title is started and we have this button now we will try to achieve hide and seek for the text and the icon so i want to show the text or i don't want to show the text okay so i click on this text i'll select this text i'll go to this layer panel i'll click here and now i got the create component property so we can say the name of this is show get started this is what how it had showed default you can also change it and the value set is true the default value i'll create this property on this particular text now let's see this one okay now if i click here you can see here i'm saying this show get started if i toggle it 
I am not seeing the text. If I toggle it on, now I can see the text. And I can see that the basic title here is started. I'll create one more instance of this here. For the title for this button is get started. If I click here, the text is gone. If I click here, now the text is appears. So this is how the toggle feature like on off is working here or hide and seek. Now how it is going to benefit in your design system. So see, I have created this one particular component. Okay, let's delete. Now I want to create two more buttons for just we can icon just with a text and then one with a different text. Now let's see. I have just created this one button with all the properties. I will apply this hide and seek uh, on this icon as well. I select this icon. I'll go on this layer. I'll create one more property show the email send and the default value I'll set is true. I created this property. Now I have created one instance. I want to this button to have just a text this email send one. I'll toggle this text one off. Now I have got one more button. Now I need one button with different text. I will reset the title started. Now I have one more button with an icon and the different text. I want to have a button just with a text. I will toggle this off. So what I did, I created one button. I created these properties and added the values to it. Now I have you can say different variants or the component set for this particular button. Now this is what I have shown you. What you can also do is if I remove all these, you can just see with this button only. Just with this button, you can show all the four types of buttons. I selected this. I said this is off. So this is one button just with an icon. I said this is off. I have a button with a text and no icon. So this is how we can use then the properties. We have some more properties that are very useful like for the variants we will see in another, another video. Variants you use when you have a button with different color and size or the different fonts. So this is all about adding the properties and playing with the layers in Figma. I will end up this video in the next video we will learn about creating the variants.